Hello there. You guys ready to put your knowledge of the scientific method to use? All right, I got an assignment for you. Working in groups of two or three, use the scientific method to answer the following question. What affects the swing rate of a pendulum? Is it the length of the string or the weight attached to it? So as soon as I'm going over how to make a pendulum, then your group will grab one bag of supplies and turn in one report per person of how you use the scientific method to answer that question. Be sure in showing your use of the scientific method that you use data tables that share the results of your experiment. We want to make sure we show measurements. To make a pendulum, it's pretty simple. All pendulum is, is a weight of some sort on a string. So all you have to do is get a little bit of string and tie a weight to it. Now this weight is called a bob. Yes, it's called a bob. Hi Bob. Say hi Bob. Hi Bob. Yes, it's called a bob, okay? So this weight is called a bob and all that a pendulum is is a bob swinging on a string. Hi Bob. So we're going to take Bob, hi Bob, and we're just going to swing Bob back and forth, and that's a pendulum. You are getting sleepy, very sleepy. Well, some of you already were sleepy, but anyhow, you are getting sleepy. Okay, I'll stop. So here's your pendulum with Bob, hi Bob, and that's it. That's a pendulum. So you're going to test a couple things with Bob. Hi, Bob. And uh, you're going to test different lengths of string. So you're going to attach this string to your desk probably. And if you attach it there at that length, then you can try a different length. All kinds of different lengths. Okay. And then you can try different weights too. So besides that weight, maybe we can get a smaller little bob. Hi little bob. All right, so there you have different bobs that you can use in your, in your bag. And then you have string, and then you can come up front and get And that, dear friends, is how you make a pendulum. Also included in your bag is your friendly neighborhood protractor. Using this protractor, you can make sure every swing starts at the same angle. Just simply attach your protractor to your desk via tape, put the string through the hole, and every swing you make can be at the same exact angle. And also, very special for you today, the countdown clock. Using the countdown clock, you can keep track of the very seconds. And keeping track of the seconds, you can determine how many swings you can make in a minute. And so now, it's time to get the ball rolling. I mean, get the bob swinging. Hi, Bob. Say bye, Bob. Say bye, Bob. Say bye, Bob. Bye. Also included in your bag is your friendly, mathematically inclined, angle measuring protractor. Protractor, protractor. I can't say protractor. You can also take the string and you can attach it to a chiropractor. A chiropractor. <laughs>
Also included in your bag is your friendly neighborhood protractor. 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 Also included in your bag is your friendly neighborhood protractor. Just simply attach your protractor. Protractor. Just simply attach your protractor to your desk via tape. And very special for you today, just today, using the countdown clock, you can keep track of how many swings you can make in a minute. Or how long it takes, how many swings you get, how many, all kinds of stuff.